Okay. Now, uh, the wind is blowing. This is not going to be very conducive to a good sound. And uh, so, so we're going to learn to play uh, D flat blues, but we're going to do it with a grip. And this is the grip. Okay, uh, see, hold on, which one do I want? Yeah. Okay, well, I know it doesn't sound that great. thing is if I grabbed G here's here's uh, G blues I mean C blues okay but we're gonna do it it's like like we had we we're starting from the five going to the six going to the root and going to what's called a sharp nine or the minor third. Okay, and that's what we get. And I'm going to play it in C first just to kind of give you an idea of what we're going for. Now, this is not the most sophisticated way to do it, but for beginners to start playing something that sounds like something. sound like anything like uh, because we're kind of limited in the notes that we can have okay we're just I just picked some some now you can you can also play the notes D there okay almost like you're doing like an F or maybe an F7. You're playing the notes of more or less F, G, A, C, D, E flat. So you could do that. Okay? So I'm playing, this is a, a good hack. I was sitting around playing something because I was trying to play it a little bit unfamiliar chord for me. Okay, that's the... I'm just doing chord or maybe C D E flat F and then I just hit this and I automatically get up uh, it's an F9 but it's an F9 in coming off this note right here which is the ninth and that's unusual because as far as an F goes this is a uh, nine this is the third yeah I know Okay, nine is nothing but a second. The third in the root and the extensions, and uh, this is the C is a fifth because F G A B flat C always go up in the major scale when you're figuring these things out. F G A B flat C that's your fifth. Your six is all also called in the right circumstances and the extensions that's called a thirteenth, right? Okay, it is. It's it's a second, but it it, it really is. Uh, I mean, it's a six. Sorry about that. Uh, when you're playing it and uh, on the F F bass here, you hit F A C. That right there is, if you notice that this right here, F A C is what I have for uh, this same grip, more or less. That I have. Okay. Um, but I'm playing a. Um, I'm playing a. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm playing. <laughs> okay, so I'm playing. 
playing uh, an F, but when I put this F, A, C, D, I've got the 13th in a way. As long as I'm playing an F, A, C, E flat, which is the, the dominant chord, okay, F. Okay, I actually have, if I'm playing this right here, okay, see that, like that? That right there is a, a 13th, okay? It's a 13th. Okay? These are 13ths, okay? I think that's it, okay? Here we go. But anyways, going back to this, trying to keep it this simple, and I have ants that are crawling on it because I'm working outside at my workbench, okay? How's that? I'm a woodworker. basically one to two chords here maybe three chords at the most and I'm playing this F A C uh, F A C F A I knew there was something wrong G A C E flat okay and I'm playing on E flat on C goodness sun is up and I'm walking it up like a bass player I'm a bass player like I, I would do this on bass, C, D, E flat, E, F. And then when I went to F, I would change this finger right here on the, on the piano. Basically doing, I, if I would do this and I did just C. I'm playing a, a, a G, A, C, D, E flat. I'm playing off a of C, but I'm playing the, the 5, the 6, the 8, the 9, and the sharp 9. Now, when I said I went from the 5 to the 6, and I, which is really, from a C point of view, is a 9. 